Hey guys, make sure to tell your mechanic about what we found inside this engine oil filter, or should I say, engine oil filters, as in multiple problems found when cutting open all these oil filters. Check out the Wix XP and the Bosch base plates. You'll see they have the same numbers on the inside and outside of the base plate and a lot of rust on the Wix SP if you just noticed on the back of that base plate which would get on the inside of the oil and be put through your engine and I definitely wouldn't want that although I will say Wix XP does make one of the highest quality engine oil filters out there but are they having quality control problems you're going to see some very surprising things today guys these filters are actually made for a 2008 Toyota Corolla now, check out the warranties. We'll see what these engine oil filter companies are actually promising and what they deliver when we cut open the filter to find out the truth. Now, you'll see that we have the Wix and the Wix XP and something that we're discovering aside from just that one oil company or oil filter company is actually making multiple filters that are pretty much the same except charging much higher prices for some of them so really you would want to find out which ones are the cheapest really and if they're just as good quality as the top name brands then why not just buy them and save a ton of money just like with the engine oil but we also found out that some of the oil filters are actually made by a much lower standard as you can see with this Wix XP it's definitely not the case for it now, what I'm curious to see is the quality concerns. So, I've seen a lot of engine oil filters cut open, and maybe you have too. So, even a Wix XP. And as you can see, I go in the store and I want to give you guys a walkthrough that these engine oil filters all match up with the same vehicle. Because I had to do a double take just to make sure that the results were actually the same. Because when I seen what was inside the filters, I almost didn't believe it and had to do it again just to make sure it was correct. Now, what we're finding out is that some of these oil filters not only have poor quality and are made by the same companies, but guys, they just don't hold up over time. And you can see not only rust, but other debris inside the engine oil filter. Now, instead of doing what we typically would in the past, which is use a grinder to cut them open, we'll use an oil filter cutting tool. This way we cut them open precisely the same for each filter. We don't want to contaminate them in any way at all. One thing I have noticed, which isn't really bad, it's actually pretty good. Uh, cutting open every single oil filter almost, I closely look inside where the spring is it usually holds everything nice and tight inside the filter, which is the cartridge, the anti-drain back valve, and all this good stuff, the steel spring, or even the stamp piece of steel, which does the same thing when they do not have a steel spring. And it actually has a small bit of oil on it. Now, as for the Fram, they seem to contain puddles. You can see here we have a little mini Christmas vacuum cleaner and some other cool gifts. So. Just make sure you drop a comment sharing some helpful information and you could win this. We'll just pick a random winner for a few gifts for Christmas. As always guys, I appreciate you watching. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter and this Fram uh, Tough Guard and find out what the differences are. As you can see the inlet holes we have the same amount of inlet holes on the back. You can see this uh, abrasion that looks like it's taking place behind the base plate of the Ultra Synthetic, which is where I found a great amount of rust on a lot of filters. Unfortunately, even the Wix XP, as you saw earlier. But we'll give you a more detailed look in a moment, not to mention some other issues. Now you can see the Mobile One and the Fram Can of Death. The Mobile One has eight inlet holes and the Fram has 10 inlet holes for the engine oil. Let's check out the rest now. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about some of these problems that I actually found because it's really bad, guys. I'm actually surprised with this one. This is probably some of the worst issues I've ever found. Now, as for the anti-drain back valve, 
which keeps some oil in the filter when the vehicle's not running, so when you start it up, you can build up oil pressure much faster. Now, here we have something a little bit different. This as well is something that allows the engine oil to flow. This is a, actually the bypass valve for this filter, the Bosch oil filter. As you can see, there's a spring on the inside of it, and you can see the gasket on the outside. So instead of having a hole right in the center of the tubing, which would allow the oil to flow, which is what you would typically see. I mean, check out the rust building up inside this Bosch filter. Guys, I'm really concerned about this. I mean, why is there such a problem with rust going on? Now, people say Fram filters have a lot of oil puddled up inside their filters because they're preventing this problem, but that's just not the case because yes, that may be what it's for, but unfortunately, they're still building up as much rust as any other oil filter. You can check these out. These base plates both have 13 inlet holes, the SuperTech and K&N, which they look identical, really. The cartridges, everything on these filters look totally the same. Now, you can even compare the numbers. Check out these base plates for the MicroGuard and the regular wicks. You guys think that's much different? I mean, check out these numbers. I want you to see something. As you can see, comparing these numbers, just like with some of the other filters, not to mention, you can see the rust already starting to build up on the inside of this uh, oil filter, which is definitely not a good thing. And guys, this is a Wix oil filter. What is going on here? Why are we having so many issues? Well, you can see the markings on these two base plates are identical. Now, it would appear to me that the same manufacturer is actually making both of them. Here we have the anti-drainback valve. So it's pretty pliable. It seems to be the norm for most of these oil filters. But we have another, which is an anti-drainback valve. But this one is a little bit different. It actually has the oil bypass made into it which I thought was pretty cool. I'm not sure why this one was sitting on top of that filter. It actually goes with that Wix oil filter. And this allows it to build the bypass during really cold temperatures. If the oil isn't flowing or becomes clogged up, it'll allow it to pass through, which seems so-so. Eh, it might work okay. I'm not so sure about that. Seems a little bit concerning to me because it's not really regulated as it should be. Now you can see for the MicroGuard, it's similar to the Bosch, and it has one of these strange systems to it, which doesn't have your typical um, bypass valve like the others, which is a concern to me as well, because if it did become clogged up, it would seem to me that your normal, or what you see the most uh, with the bypass valves, would be more fitting, which is a larger, hole. This way if it does become clogged up, but I'm sure if anything gets in your oil system that bad, well you're probably in trouble because it's going to destroy your engine, so I guess that's really not going to make that much of a difference. Now as for these anti-drain back valves, well the Mobile One's actually a little bit tougher. It's not as thin as the others. It would seem it holds up a little bit better. The Fram Ultra Synthetic and the Fram Tough Guard anti-drain back valves well, they look almost identical. They feel almost identical. So I'm not really seeing a major difference there. The materials don't really feel much different. However, check out these uh, filter medias. The medium on this filter, well, the glue for the wicks. This is really surprising, guys. I mean, look at the sloppy job done here. And this is actually one of my go-to filters but I'm really starting to have second thoughts. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? What's been your experience? I know they use high quality materials, but this is one of the issues with Fram because the Ultra Synthetic is actually made of pretty good quality materials. It's the quality concerns that I have. Now you see they have a steel rib, which helps hold the pleats and the pleats are evenly distributed. Look at this, what we found in the micro guard. I mean, just a big chunk of glue that has come loose. 
sometime during the manufacturing process and on the inside. Now, it being in here guys, what would happen? Well, it would pass through the engine and with the oil and it could clog one of the components and starve them of engine oil. This is why you definitely don't want this issue just like you see with the wicks, except I haven't seen anything broken loose with that glue on that uh, filter media, but it could happen. Here's something that I didn't notice previously with the K&N filter, and I want you to take a look at this. It looks uneven if you look at it inside the oil filter housing. Now, is that an issue? Well, actually it is, because if you'll check it out, a little bit closer and find out what's going on why is it so uneven well you're going to see that here on the bottom that where it uses that cheap stamp steel that i said works somewhat fine but could be a problem because it just has easier problems anything could happen i mean there's so many things that could go wrong so as you could see that stamp piece of steel is bent and you can see in the side of the housing or the outside of it, there's a small dent in it. And I'm assuming that is actually what has caused the problem. Now, this could throw everything off. Even your anti-drain back valve, it could throw back your oil bypass valve. So see, your filter could stay uh, not full of oil because of the drain back valve. Then you have your bypass valve which everything's crooked in there, and that's what that stamp steel is supposed to do. It's supposed to hold everything nice and tight and even, hold it together, and line it up with the holes perfectly. What's going to happen if it's cocked sideways? You're going to have engine oil that makes its way through that's not filtered properly. Now, you'll see here that the K&N filter is no different than the Supertech filter, and on the bottom of the Mobile One, you'll see it's oil bypass valve, which I'm definitely not a fan of at all. And if you're buying a K&N filter, or at least this one, I can tell you the only thing you're gaining from the whole experience is actually the oil filter housing is better. It's made of a higher quality material. It even has a special uh, end on it where you can apply a special oil filter wrench to that nut they weld on the oil filter housing or a string, there's a hole in that nut on the end of the housing, you can tie it through that little hole, that way if your filter for some reason blows off, this happens for motorcycles typically, but they still put it on there for cars, and so if it blows off, racing or whatever, then you don't throw this oil filter into a vehicle that's behind you or something like that. Other than that though, you can check it out. I mean, it's almost identical or it is to the K&N, except for the housing. And they give you a little sticker that you can apply to the side of it and put the date on it. Now, that was definitely a weird oil bypass valve by Mobile One. I really don't care for it that much. I don't think it's made well. I just think that it can be problematic, but I'm not gonna say that I know more than an engineer. I will say sometimes that maybe they overthink things and maybe they're a little too smart for their own good. That's just my personal opinion. And as for the frame, I mean, the cartridge, check it out, it was made of paper. I mean, come on, even this other frame, it's made of paper as well. It does have a steel center tube, but this can be a big issue. I mean, look at it, those things are known to break apart in little pieces of the cardboard and make it into the engine oil or at least I've been told by many people and after performing tests. Now, as you can see, some of these filters are almost identical. MicroGuard, it's probably the cheapest one out of all of them, it and the Supertech oil filter, but they're almost identical to K&N and some Wix filters, such with low prices, and not to mention, you see the date of the purchase of those engine oil filters, so you know that these oil filters were actually purchased on Christmas Eve. So there's definitely no rusting going on here. And I show the manufacturing date. This way you guys know when they're manufactured as well. Now, check out this. You can see it uses a stamp piece of steel on the Fram Tough Guard that holds everything nice and tight instead of a nice cool spring. 
and it has a nylon poppet in the middle, that plastic poppet. It'll open and close. Um, if the engine oil is too cold and thick to flow, it'll allow oil flow through it. The Mobile One you seen was made a little bit different, but it does have a stamp piece of steel as well to hold everything nice and tight. The stamp steel for the Mobile One, though, I will say, it seems just a small bit better. I mean, check this out. Tell me these two oil filters aren't made by the same manufacturer. Look at this. They have the same lettering stamped on the stamped steel on one side. Then you can see they're definitely made almost identically the same. The poppets, the same material, the same color. I mean, not one single difference, really, except the anti-drain back valve, yes, it is a different color, but aside from that, really, I mean, is it really worth a $3 filter versus paying about $15 for a filter? You can see these oil filters use a coil spring, which is much better material, and you don't have to worry about it bending as easy as you would the stamp steel like you saw earlier with the SuperTech, which could allow unfiltered oil through the system. I will say I do like the build of this Wix XP. You can see for the oil flow, it has your typical um, oil bypass valve right there in the center and it's held together. It has a similar stamp piece of steel, kind of like Mobile One's, a little bit uh, higher quality material, um, but it actually uses uh, a coil spring to hold everything uh, nice and tight and it's not depending on some little stamp piece of steel to hold everything where it's supposed to be inside the canister because that one little thing, I mean, you can easily have this oil filter housing dented. This material isn't very heavy duty. Most of them, as I check them here, they do seem pretty much the same, the Wix XP and Bosch. I mean, guys, these almost seem to be made by the same manufacturer. Checking out the markings. Now, as for the frame and the tough guard, really, if you're going to buy one, I would recommend not buying the tough guard personally, if that's my opinion. I wouldn't buy a frame anyways, but if I were going to buy one, I would not buy the tough guard. If I was going to buy one, it would be the frame ultra synthetic. Again, that's my choice and my opinion. I'm not sure. You guys have to make the choice for yourself. The mobile one, however, the housing seems to be about the same on it as well. Now let's check out the SuperTech, and we'll also check out the k &N housing. I will say that this housing is much heavier. You can just see by feeling of it, and you'll see this Michael Guard and k &N housing. Wow, what a difference. The k &N really stands out above all these oil filters. Funny enough, they're the ones that actually have the dent in their filter that actually caused the problem, so even though they're oil filter housing is so much better quality than the rest it really doesn't matter guys i mean they still have this issue of that stamp steel i mean it's like bending a pop can you barely touch it and it bends then you have an issue even with such a strong housing the wicks well it's definitely the same thanks for watching nate's interactive auto